Welcome to a little bit of Common Crazy. Today I'm gonna to share with you my favorites from the month of July. Hi, my name is Jennifer, and my goal here is to try to find more calm in all the crazy and put some order to the chaos. And if you didn't know, I have been traveling for the last month. For all of July, my kids and I traveled up to Utah to visit friends and family. So we have been on the road and super busy. So all of my favorites this time are the things that I had with me. So they are tried and true and absolutely my loves for the month. Before we get started though, I would love for you, if you haven't already, to subscribe to my channel. And if you click that little bell, that is how you're notified every time that I upload a video. So my hope is by sharing with you my favorites, you'll be able to find some new favorites yourself as well. Anything that I have links to, I'll include in the description box if I can find those. So if you're curious to know more about any one of these products, that's exactly where you can look. And let's just get right on into it. To get to Utah, it took us two days. But by the first day we were in New Mexico, I realized already that my skin was in shock. So Texas is super humid and even here, I have really dry skin and I have a very regimented moisturizing thing that I need to do. I have to put lotion on my whole entire body, my face, everything, just because my skin is just so dry. But the moisturizer that I've been using for the summertime in Texas wasn't gonna cut it in that desert heat. So as soon as I got to Utah, I ran to the store and I picked up some CeraVe. This is their SA cream. It's for rough and bumpy skin. It actually has some salicylic acid in it. I thought this would be really good. Traveling sometimes I can end up with a couple of breakouts and I thought that this might help kind of combat that because I didn't have anything else to help if I did break out. Um, I have used their normal tub before and I really love that too, but I went ahead and picked up this one I use this all over my body and on my face. And as you can tell, can you see that? Um, I went through about half of it. This stuff is amazing. I would use it in the morning, at night, underneath my makeup, everything. So if you have dry skin, this is what I like to use in the winter here in Texas, but normally it's too much for me in the summer. But in that desert heat, it is exactly what I needed. This did not fail me. It did not clog my pores. It did not irritate my skin. This was amazing and it kept my skin feeling hydrated, moisturized, everything that I needed it to do. So that is definitely my first love for the month. I don't like to wash my hair every day or even every other day. I wash my hair about every three to four days, but by day four, I normally need a dry shampoo and that will help kind of give me some volume and some lift and just help this area not look so flat. So I picked up this Not Your Mother's Clean Freak dry shampoo, the scent is warm sugar and it says it leaves no residue. I love this. Now if you get really close, I did notice I could get a little bit of that white cast in there, but if you spray just the right amount, lift up, spray, then I didn't have any sort of residue in my hair. And it has a nice scent, kind of, I mean you can smell that if you can tolerate it. One day I sprayed this in my hair and one of my nieces is like, what's that smell? And so it's definitely, has a scent so if scents bother you this would not be the scent to get um but it's nice it keeps your hair feeling clean it definitely soaked up any sort of oil that i had it helped me with my volume um so i really this was definitely something that i enjoyed using for that month and i would say i used a lot of it i absolutely plan to repurchase this once this bottle is out so for a couple of the makeup items that i brought i'm not going to show you everything but I wanted to keep things pretty simple and easy. So these are a couple of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm loving and it's what I have on today. This is just the Tartlet Tarte Palette. It is an all matte palette and you can see that you have these quadrants. So it's kind of laid out for you that if you have a hard time knowing how to wear your eyeshadow, that's really nice. Um, but of course you can wear it in any order that you feel works best for you. I really like it because you have your lighter shades up to your deeper shades. I don't wear eyeliner a lot and I'm trying to think if it even took an eyeliner. Um, I think I had one for tight lining, which I never even use. And I normally go towards either a brown or a black um, to outline my eyes. I prefer eyeshadow over eyeliner. Yeah, I can't say enough good things with it. It doesn't have a shimmer and a lot of times I do prefer a shimmer on the lid. And so that's where 
this CoverGirl True Naked palette comes in. I did a review on this, oh, I don't remember. There was a whole box on a Walmart box that you could get that had several different eye products. I'll link it up here so you can go back and look at the different things because all those products are available. I haven't seen the box lately, but if you're interested in any of those products, you can check out that video. But I have really loved using this palette. So it's not that old, but you can see that I already have some pretty good dips going into these colors. I use every single one of these. Now this darker one, again, I use mainly for like an eyeliner, but I do like using all of these. Today I have this on the lid and I have this color right here in the inner corner of my eye just to brighten that up. So the two together are really good palettes. I do find that I can keep these shadows on all day long, which is exactly what I need. I don't want to fuss with my makeup. I want to put it on in the morning and be done with it. I enjoyed having both of these eyeshadow palettes. Now to carry all of my makeup in, because you got to remember I was gone for a month, so I did take a few things with me. I took this, it's pretty large, um, makeup bag. It's seven senses. I got this on Amazon. It opens up. You do have the hook on here. I don't really like the hook. That made me nervous. My product, I guess, was a little bit too heavy for the bag, and I thought, I wasn't sure if this would really hold, so I never really used the hook. You have two zipper compartments right here. This one is just that netting, and that's where I kept my lip products. And then you have another pocket here where I kept eye products. And you can see how these different compartments down here, so it's really easy to stick different bottles or tubes or things like that. And then this compartment made it really easy for any sort of palette, blush, anything like that that you want. And then you had one more zipper here, and that's where I kept like tweezers, sharpener, and like my eyelash curler were all right there. What I liked about this bag is that everything was really well organized and easy for me to see, so I could get ready super quick. If I'm going away for a long weekend or even a weekend, this is perfect to carry all my makeup, toiletries, everything that I would need. And so I really like that. It's nice and compact. Before this, I don't think I've ever purchased a makeup bag. I'm one of those people that would get the free makeup bags when Clinique offered a makeup bag with a gift. And so those are a little bit smaller and I could get things in it, but I always had to take a couple of them. One maybe for makeup and another one for my skincare. So I liked that I purchased this because I can get everything all in one and it just stays nice and compact and it just helps me be a little bit more organized, which if you didn't know, is something that I like to do. <laughs> so while I was in Utah, I did a little bit of shopping, but one of my favorite purchases would be these Steve Madden sandals. I absolutely love these. It's just a really soft, buttery leather. It feels like nothing on your feet. And you can't go wrong with this, a really simple pair of black sandals. You can wear them with a dress, you can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with shorts. I absolutely love these. And the most important thing to me, because if you don't know it, I am a flip-flop girl. These are just super comfortable. It's like walking on nothing. And I didn't even have to do like a break-in period or anything like that. They were like perfect from the first wear. Absolutely love these. Again, I got these at DSW if you're interested in a good pair of black sandals. So I took a couple of strange things with me to Utah, one of which is my pressure cooker. The reason why I took my pressure cooker was because none of the places I was staying had one yet. If you like your crock pot and you find it so easy and so convenient and it doesn't heat up your kitchen and all those things that you can think about a crock pot, that's your pressure cooker, but better. So let me tell you, it's just as easy, just as foolproof, but it cooks it faster. So if you find that mornings sometimes are crazy and rushed, and I know I'm like that, especially when school starts, I am trying to get three kids ready in the morning. I homeschool one of them. Mornings are a little bit crazy, but my afternoons before I get kids can kind of die down so I can do some prepping at that point. The nice thing with a pressure cooker, instead of needing your eight to 10 hours to cook your chicken, you can cook frozen chicken in 22 minutes. And it is fork tender shredding, absolutely perfection. Another benefit to having a pressure cooker is that you it's really a one pot wonder. If you're doing something that you need to sear or saute or any of those things, instead of having to do it in a separate pan and then bring it to a crock pot, in the pressure cooker, you can do all that. There's actually a button on here for that. 
Mine is a Cuisinart, but the one you mainly hear about is an Instapot. And because Instapot is out there and everyone's really aware of it and there's so much information, it is the one that I think most people lean towards. And I don't think you could go wrong with an Instapot. I have several friends that's exactly what they have and they're fabulous. So I'm gonna link mine down below so you can check that out. But I'm also gonna link the Instapot that I think that would be a really good purchase as well. If you have not gotten a pressure cooker, it is going to change your life and you would not regret it. The fact that I traveled so many miles and packed this in the car should tell you how much I really love it and how much I think it is absolutely worth it. So the last item that I wanted to talk about, I actually just have the box and I'll show you a picture of it as well. It's this Calm Life electric mosquito killer. I knew we would be spending a lot of time outside and my daughter gets eaten up by mosquitoes. Just, they just love her. But I hate bug spray. Like, I hate bug spray. I hate the smell of bug spray. It gives me a headache. It is one of those things where it just is not my friend. And if I can avoid bug spray at any cost, that is what I'm gonna do. This is meant for indoor use but I got it for outdoor use. That's what I wanted it. What I like about it, it is really sleek, it's clean, it's really easy, you can hook it up. In the picture you can see right here, there's a little cord that hangs down from it that you just pull kind of like a old closet light. So you just pull that, it has the purple lighting on it. It is absolutely great and it does. It kills gnats, moths, mosquitoes. It gets the job done. And for us, that is really important because again, I hate bug spray, but mosquitoes love my daughter and I did not want her to be eaten up when we would be sitting outside. So I'm super excited. I took it with me to Utah. I have it set up now on my back porch. So I'm really excited to have that. And again, anything I've shown you today, if there are links for it, I will link those for you in the description box so you can look more into it and see if those are things that work for you. The one downside I will tell you about this is that the cord is really short. It's only a couple feet long. So I do wish the cord was longer so that you could hang it up higher. So for us, I went ahead and I just leaned it on the windowsill and it works just fine right there and it gets the job done. So have you had any favorites this summer that you are absolutely loving? I would love to hear those in the description below. Don't forget, I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if you haven't, give this video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And don't forget, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.